So the second video in the series for home business video training is picking a hosting account. We've now did the first video which gave us our domain name which is the sign that goes above our office. So now we've got the sign above our office we need to find ourselves a company that can host our business online because that's the thing that you need online obviously you need to be able to take your your business your domain name and put it somewhere and on the last video we came up with okay we've been following the golf courses which we came by just purely by letting Google decide what it is that we should be doing with the golf courses in Florida and so we took this and we put a domain name to it and we called ourselves best golf courses Florida so then we went out and took that domain name so you became the proud owner of golf courses in Florida or golf courses Florida and now we have to take that domain name and put it inside a hosting account now in terms of the best hosting account it'll depend who you speak to but in terms of those that provide good service that are regular that have scored high in the search engines that have managed to be in business for a long time and become one of the best then Hostgator is one of those companies their startup prices are very very cheap the amount of disk space that they give you is um, absolutely plenty no matter which level you're at whether you're deciding just to pick a web hosting company that gives you enough space just for one website or whether it gives you unlim unlimited space so the question you have to ask yourself is this what is it that this hosting company can give me and at what price so we're over at Hostgator which is Hostgator.com and I've probably got two sets of hosting plans with Hostgator uh, both unlimited and the reason we decide whether we should be going what they call a hatchling plan a baby plan and a business plan just simply means what it is that you think you're going to be doing with that business obviously a hatchling plan is just a single domain you still get unlimited disk space and you still get unlimited bandwidth um, what that simply means is a single domain would just be the name of our website just the one website in this case would be best golf courses Florida and then from that website we could then have as much disk, disk space and bandwidth as we wanted therefore we could put whatever we wanted inside that shop and it wouldn't overload it because obviously if you've got a shop in the outside world in the real world you can only get so much stock inside that before it becomes stuck to the walls and impossible for people to walk through well, it's pretty much the same on the internet they can become a point where you can cram so much media and so much content and so much stuff onto your website that it starts to to become too full and what that causes on internet is a slowdown so Hostgator offer you an unlimited amount of bandwidth and disk space to be able to go on with so that's the difference in in having a single domain with unlimited disk space and a uh, unlimited domains with unlimited disk space and bandwidth okay now unlimited domains simply means that if you so wished you could have as many different websites running from the same hosting account which is the plan that most people who intend to make money online will actually go for in the long term so if we just click and compare some of these hosting accounts we can kind of see what it is the web hosting packages actually provide you for the money that you give them now I'm sure some web hosting companies wouldn't agree with this because that's their business but all web hosting companies pretty much provide the same packages at the same price at the same level 
So all you have to determine is which is one that you think suits your business, suits you as a person, and gives you the most support, because that's what you're looking for. You're looking for uptime, which means that the server is going to stay alive on the internet at all times. You need to be able to speak to someone really fast should something go wrong. If somehow you've done something that you shouldn't have done within your back office or your C panel, and if something gets done really badly and you need to sort that out, you need to know that those people are going to be there fast. And that, that all the top web hosting companies have good reasons why you should go with them. So again, well look, they showed us the plans here. The plans are the they call the hatchling, the baby, and the business, and they all give you unlimited disk space, which most people do these days and the same with bandwidth and again we've spoken about the difference between having one domain and to be having limited amounts of do domains which is for the price the extra price i always think is is well worth it and so they they kind of tell you the kind of things that you can that you can be given as part of your hosting account site builder site builder just means a system that they have within their business to be able to allow you to build your websites they'll all have cpanels and back offices 24 hour support you expect that you expect to have instant backup no contract simply means that you can step up whenever you want to if you just have 30 days in and you don't like what's going on or you've decided this is not for you then you're not bound to any contract like you would in the outside world if you try to get a shot in the outside world 30 days later you said you know what this is not for me well, you'd still be paying the money. It's a little bit different here. They guarantee you 99.9% .9 uptime. Nobody can guarantee more than that. No one can guarantee that 100% of the time that nothing's going to go wrong. Everybody needs to do maintenance, clean out the cobwebs. They give you a 40 day money back guarantee, which most people would do. If you're into Google AdWords, you get a bit of credit there as a way to suck you in. Free instant setup. Okay, this is where we stacked getting the difference in the price you're not allowed to add on or pack any domains with a baby one or with a hatchling one in this case which you expect they all give you anonymous FTP in fact they don't this only gives you anonymous FTP which you won't need when you're just starting out subdomains unlimited subdomain is something that you tag onto the end of your website which we've done with John's treasure chest from johnnyadams.com which you'll see every time you go to the website. FTP accounts unlimited. Yeah, we expect that. WordPress hosting, which is something that's very popular at the moment, where people are actually turning their blogging accounts into a hosted WordPress blog, which is very important. It's important that we actually have a hosted blog rather than a free one. And then they offer you the same things that most people offer you, which is CGI, if your PHP, your Ruby on Wales, or on Wales, your Ruby on Rails, your Cron, your front page, and such and such and such. Email, they should all give you unlimited hosting for email. There's no reason why they shouldn't. That just basically allows you to have as many different kind of web addresses from the one domain. You might need your name, so you can give to people. You might need um, a support address. You might have people in your business that you want to have their own address to attract it, so you expect that. You expect a good control panel. You expect to be able to get beyond the back office and have everything that you need to make things work. And that's basically what a hosting account does, no matter who you choose for those hosting accounts. Um, do you know what? There's not much more that can be said about hosting accounts other than making sure that there is a live chat and a support support's important all you need to do is decide which one suits you and your business best when you first go out i mean if you if you're just starting out four dollars and 95 cents per month is a tiny amount of money when you are talking about putting a business online you know you remember you're taking a simple idea and you're putting it online for less than five dollars a month when you just start out that's nothing if you try to do that in the real world, you'd be in serious trouble. Five dollars wouldn't take you through the door. And then obviously, that's based on having an account with them for three years, 
if you only did it by the year it would cost you seven bucks which is a relative price that most people charge you and if you wanted to do month by month you could just do that for nine dollars but what's the point of having a website hosting account just for one month Hostgator just like all the rest of them realized that most people are in this to do this properly in business and so they would go for the the cheaper option on the understanding that their business would last forever and if it, this didn't work then you would just stop paying it anyway so there's no real commitment like I say most people who are wanting to be entrepreneurs or people that are wanting to build up a proper internet business would go for the unlimited domains so that you could have a lot of subdomains and a lot of feeder sites that you could therefore feed into your business around different niches allowing you to do what it is that you want so all we need to remember is really really simply that a hosting account is something that allows our little website to go into the world and let everybody see it and that's all it really is okay it's just a place where you can go and capture people it is an office it is a warehouse it is a shop it is the place that you tell people where you are and that you're alive and business is impossible to do if we don't have a hosting account otherwise this website just sits there doing nothing in the middle of nowhere 